For years, residents in one part of Wichita were without a place to buy fresh food, but that's all changing tomorrow. New at 10, Cakes Brian Ramsdale shows us how the opening of a new grocery store in the middle of a so-called food desert is bringing good news to one neighborhood. Workers are still putting the finishing touches on this Save-A-Lot grocery store. But just the idea of this store opening is bringing relief to people like Nora Mounts, who it's live in this South Wichita time, neighborhood. So. Yeah, it's about time we can go over there and save a lot of money, really. The Dillons that used to occupy this building closed years ago, leaving the neighborhood without a nearby grocery store. While residents in this South Wichita neighborhood have had options for buying food, it hasn't always been fresh. Many people living here were forced to walk an hour to the grocery store, or they used other stores like this Walgreens or Family Dollar. None of the stores around here have any produce. But with the hum of this freezer, the community is in for a big change. As soon as you walk through the door, you get an impact of just the freshness. Marcus Scarborough of Honor Capital, a company owned by veterans, went from serving his country to serving his community in a completely different way. And they want to shop, uh, and they can't wait. Scarborough worked hard to help open this Save-A-Lot, and with this store opening, residents can now have affordable food within walking distance, which for some is reason to celebrate. And some people literally come up to you and hug you and thank you. In South Wichita, Brian Ramsdale, Cape News. Other areas in and around Wichita are still struggling with being classified as a food desert. For example, the area of Oliver and 13th Street, where a Walmart and Quick Trip convenience store recently shut down. Residents there are still looking into options for getting affordable and fresh food for their families.